What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? It's your boy Mills from Mill City Boxing, home of the high level pro boxing media. And I'm here with the one and only Rayu Venezuela. What's going on? We here live, LA. Yes, sir. We're here. The, the big stage, BMO Stadium, August 3rd, Crawford, main event. Me and Pitbull Cruz, co main. It's going to be a good night of boxing. How are you feeling right now? I mean, you're coming off of a spectacular win from Chris Colbert. You got your redemption back, but you're back with Robert Garcia. I mean, talk about you as a person, as a fighter today, and what's going on. Um, I feel great, you know, overall. I feel like uh, my past experiences have made me a better person and, and matured me a lot as a, as a person and as a fighter as well. So my men like men mentally, I feel great, I feel sharp. Physically, new weight, um, I feel better than ever, you know, so um, I'm just ready and I'm excited. So, I mean, I remember last time we talked about Pitbull Cruz online, and now it's finally here. What's the excitement like, and obviously a stellar card at the same time? Yeah, you know, I'm extremely excited. Pitbull Cruz, uh, someone who, who I've been wanting to fight um, before my loss to Edwin De Los Santos. Um, he's a hell of a fighter, tough, comes forward, hard. Um, and, and those are the kind of fights that I like. So, you know, when I was offered him, with the world title, you know, that's a dream from Trudor for me, so I took it, um, and now we're here. What does this fight mean to you versus the other ones? I mean, this puts you in a different position. Obviously, he talks about wanting that rematch with Tank. You're right on that line and that list. Talk about that and just knowing, um, you know, that you could, you're just that much closer to being like a star, really. Yeah, no, um, I mean, this is for the world title, so. This is for everything. This is 140 pounds, that's right. Yeah, this is WBA title. This, this is for the world title. So for me, this is for everything. This is for my future. This is for my, for my mom and dad, my family, my teammates. First you know, title shot. Yeah. You know, this is a life changing fight, you know. Yeah, God willingly, all goes well. Nice. So when you look at Pitbull Cruz, what do you see? You know, uh, we know what he comes to do. Um, There's no secret. Um, he's aggressive. He's got the high guard, you know, but he's really a counter puncher. I've been watching him a lot, you know. He waits for you to throw, and then he catches, tries to catch you in between your shots. Um, but, you know, he brings excitement. Um, you know, a win over uh, Pitbull Cruz this Saturday, what does that do for your career? Oh, man, that, uh, you know, shoots me straight to the top. Do you, um, do you feel like he is your toughest task up to date? I would say so on paper for sure. Um, you know, it's hard to say until you're up there, um, but I, I, I would say so. What do you think about his uh, his last performance? Cabrera? Uh, oh, Cabrera? Broly? Broly. Um, I mean, it was it was a good performance. I mean, it was a decent, it was a good, decent fight. Um, but you know, Broly's moving, I feel like Broly got tired and, and after that, you know, you gotta be precise with a fighter like Pitbull. You can't waste no energy. You can't do too much because he's gonna touch your body and then you know open you up. So I mean, it was a good fight. You know, hey, what was that? Um, it was a good fight stylistically. It matched up well for him. You know, he's a right-handed. Broly's right-handed. Opens up wide. So you know, it worked out. What do you think about his performance uh, against uh, Giovanni Cabrera? You know, um, obviously he didn't look his best. So, um, definitely some flaws. It was a split decision. Um, so, you know, there's a lot to look and take from that. How do you feel at 140 pounds? I feel great, man. I feel super good. I feel energized. I can fight today. I could have fought Monday. You know, I'm ready. Um, as far as linking back with Robert Garcia, what does that mean to you and what has that done for you? Oh, it's done a lot. You know, Robert and, and his camp, they're, they're all great people with a lot of great experience. You know, he brought to my to, to my team, to me and Mario, what I think I needed that missing piece. Um, he's been at this level himself and he's brought uh, many champions, you know, many times. So, you know, it was just a perfect fit for me and, and we got along great and I think you guys are gonna, you know, what? see August third. What's your prediction on the fight? You know, me coming out victorious. You know, um, I shoot to kill. You know, so if I hit him with something, um, I would. I, I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if I hurt him. But if I have to box, I'm gonna box. 
Um, if I have to fight mid-range distance, I'm gonna fight mid-range distance. You know, we come, we know what he comes to do. So at the end of the day, uh, this, it's all gonna, you know, it's all, it's all gonna be about how I come, how I just, how I, how I wanna take, you know, the fight. You know, I, you know, he's gonna follow my dancing steps, so. Do you feel like you'll get more credit for your boxing ability in this fight due to the fact that people do believe that you're, you know, a banger at times? Um, I don't know. Um, do you bang with the banger? Do you box the banger? I mean, I mean, box, I, you know, being a boxer, like, you know, you, that's that's great. You know, I, I, I love, you know, I love the to box too, but people like to see excitement, you know, and that's just kind of the, the, day, the time we're in today. They want to see knockouts, you know. Um, so if I was to get a knockout, I think that would definitely be better than outboxing people. But if I had to outbox him, I will. Yeah, I feel like it'll be equally as impressive. You know what I mean? Because it's the type of fighter that he is. Yeah. Um, but do you see it going 12? Um. In I, your heart, the way you train it all. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I don't. The style. I don't, man. You know, I I come ready, man. I come prepared. I come to, you know hurt him just like he's coming to hurt me so you know it's gonna be a good clash of you know good clash nice nice uh rumors uh when it comes down to Shakur Stevenson and Tank Davis um November what do you think is that true is that real they, they, they're talking about it it said that it's out there that is official uh it looked like it's gonna be yeah. I don't know um, what you think about the fight period I love that fight um, and if it happens now, too, you know? I love that fight, man. You know, I think it's great for boxing for it to happen now. Um, it's a good fight. You know, I'll probably have to go a bit with Tank. Shakur's a hell of a fighter, though, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if he outboxed him or, you know, just kept him at the end of his punches. You know, that's an exciting fight. Nice, nice, nice. Who, and you, and you lean towards uh, Tank? Probably. Decision or uh, KO? Um... If he, yeah, probably KO if he if he get, if he catches them if he goes the distance. Um, but if he can't, then uh, I would say Shakur by decision. All go well this Saturday. What do you see in the future for Rayo Venezuela? Um, to be honest, I, I I haven't looked. You know, I haven't thought about nothing past August third, so I, I couldn't tell you. You know, I would have to sit and really think about it. You know, I'm 100 percent locked in on people, and you know. Um, task at hand at least when it comes down to uh like opportunity at 135 or 140 what do you think though is it is it just you're going to seek the opportunity if it comes and you can make both weight classes or do you are you settling in at 140 um you know i don't, I don't know you know we'll have to see too it's hard to answer that you know um to after the fight but um there's a lot of great fights out there appreciate you man thank you